when DMT is smoked, it comes on in about 15 to 30 seconds, and the onset of the effects of that rapidity actually challenges science uh, to explain it. And then the content of the experience seemed to us to go beyond even the orthodox model of what the psychedelic experience should constitute. In other words, the psychedelic experience has been discussed in terms of consciousness expansion or exploring the contents of the personal or the collective unconscious or achieving uh, <clears throat> great empathy with works of art or something of that sort. What we found with these tryptamines was there seemed to be a dim an unanticipated dimension, which was uh, contact with alien intelligence. I call it this for want of a better word. Uh, organized intellectuals that presented themselves in the drug trance with information that seemed to be not drawn from the personal history of the individual having the experience or even from the collectivity of human experience. And uh, later we came to feel that this effect was particularized to the tryptamine hallucinogens. In other words, not only DMT and ayahuasca and these more exotic Amazonian drugs, but also psilocybin, which is probably the most widely uh, experienced of these drugs. Uh, to me, it was astonishing that uh, a voice could address you in that state and impart information and dialogue with you. Gordon Wasson, who discovered the psilocybin mushrooms or who formally brought them to the attention of Western science, he also wrote about this phenomenon. Uh, but for that matter, so did uh, Plato in discussing the logos for uh, Hellenic uh, human beings, this experience of an interiorized guiding voice with a higher level of knowledge was not alien. However, uh, the intellectual adventure of the last thousand years has made an idea like that uh, seem preposterous, if not psychopathological. And so as moderns, as pharmacologists uh, exploring these drug states, uh, my brother and I came upon this phenomenon, and uh, in the ensuing years, we have worked with it, directed other people's attention to it, and uh, I would say a consensus has emerged that this phenomenon is real, but no consensus has emerged, nor it may be that no consensus will ever emerge about exactly what it is. Are we dealing here with... Uh, an aspect, an autonomous uh, psychic entity, uh, as the Jungians would style it, uh, a uh, sub-self that has slipped away from the control of the ego, or are we dealing with uh, something like a, a species overmind, a kind of collective intellect, or are we in fact dealing with uh, an alien intelligence with all that that implies? Um, it's not an easy question to answer. It's not even an easy question to grapple with because I think the phenomenon does not manifest itself except at doses high enough that, that taking now psilocybin, that the drug can be distinguished from any other drug. And that would be my personal definition of the effective dose of a drug. You should be able to tell it from any other drug.